Good morning, everybody. I am shopping. Yes, it is grocery shopping day. I have officially left children with my husband and I'm gonna run into Dollar Tree all by myself, which is super fun because usually whenever I go grocery shopping at Dollar Tree, I have to take my kids, but not today. But I am gonna take my camera in there because I have been promising you guys a grocery shopping video from Dollar Tree because I do some regular grocery shopping at Dollar Tree. Um, I love to go look for like close out food items um, and there are regular things that I get there. So I'm gonna show you guys the things that I really like to buy at Dollar Tree and some of the things that I avoid at Dollar Tree. Um, I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too crazy busy in here because I know that some people get a little weird about a camera being around. And I wanna to try to film in there as much as I can. So hopefully we can uh, not disturb a whole bunch of people. I'm ready to get in there and uh, do some grocery shopping. And I hope that we can find some, some awesome stuff. I'm like 30 minutes from home right now. It's the biggest Dollar Tree that's close to me. Uh, there's another little one that's closer, but they don't have a whole lot of stuff. So I always come to this one. It's like a half an hour from my house. Hopefully the drive is worth it and I can find some good stuff. Let's go. We're in the snack aisle. And look what I found. They got some more in stock. So I'm out. I'm completely out. I only bought four bags. Four bags the last time I took you guys to Dollar Tree with me. Four bags. You know how long that lasted? We were done with four bags in like two days, maybe. Come on, it was like four people eating on them. Another four bags. Maybe it'll last a little longer. Not really a huge fan of like the bagged popcorn and the chips. So I kind of avoid those, but those puffs are good. So the puffs I get. Um, A lot of their shelves are bare. These are pretty expensive by the ounce, but Benjamin loves them. So if you can spare like a dollar per snack, which is pretty pricey, one bag goes pretty fast. Like Benjamin, my two-year-old, he can eat an entire bag in one sitting. Um, but the freeze-dried apples, the freeze-dried peaches, they're pretty tasty. They're pretty good. Um, I personally don't really care for the peaches. The peaches are a little tart, but the apples are good. love the bread section. Okay, so Wonder Bread is easily like 240 at Walmart, I think. It's like 240 at Walmart. Uh, much prefer to get Wonder Bread here because it's only a dollar. Um, make sure to check your expiration dates though. Find the expiration dates that, that are the furthest out. Um, this one is like three days after the one I just grabbed. So that's why you always wanna look. And see, look at this here. Not just Wonder Bread, but they have other specialty breads, like Nature's Own. This is the um, Seven Sprouted Grains. And the 40 calories per slice uh, Nature's Own Life Honey Wheat. I know that those go for like three and four dollars at the grocery store. So almost always you can find specialty breads at Dollar Tree. Um, at least mine, you can. So I prefer to get uh, specialty breads here if they have them. Sometimes they also have uh, like sesame, sesame uh, hamburger buns, 
hot dog buns, sub rolls, all for a dollar. And they're usually brands that are around, you know, three dollars at my local grocery store. So that's pretty awesome. Only downside is sometimes the expiration dates get pretty close. So you just have to pay attention to your expiration dates and uh, just eat it as soon as you get it or throw it in the freezer. Um, some of that bread I might throw in the freezer and just toast it. I also like to get pancake syrup here. Um, I think I'm really close to the camera. <laughs> The cheapest I usually find pancake syrup that's not a Dollar Tree is usually uh, Walmart and it's still like a $1.98 um, but it's only a dollar here and I think it tastes good. We eat it all the time and pancake syrup is pancake syrup. Uh, the waffle and pancake mix I don't buy from here because for the ounce it's not like great but the pancake syrup, yes. So I've never seen these before here but my kids really like Apple Jacks and we just ran out like this morning and I've never seen these here and it's a pretty it's a pretty big box so I figure we'll try it and see how the kids like it these are a really good deal usually the six packs at the regular grocery store are around, um, I think maybe a dollar sixty something, uh, but you know, a dollar for six cups. I'm gonna get some of those. I've bought them before. Kids didn't seem to hate them. Why not? I have never seen a one here, and the funny thing is, I was just going through my freezer. And I saw that I have a whole bunch of steak that we need to eat. But I'm one of those weird people. I like A1. My husband, my husband could care less whether or not we have A1. He'll just season it and eat it as is. Oh, and the expiration date is good. It is oh, good through February 2020. I really like A1 on my steak. I'm not a huge steak eater. Like whenever we go out to eat, I don't really eat steak. But if I do eat steak, it's usually at home and I prefer to have A1. But we haven't had A1 in the house in a really long time. And I keep forgetting to buy it when I'm at the store. So I'm really glad that they had it here because now I see it, I can buy it for a dollar. And it's not a huge bottle if I'm the only person that uses it and we don't eat steak very often. Sorry, my attention was distracted from talking to you about steak. Molasses. Do you know how expensive molasses is? Molasses is crazy expensive. Eight ounces of molasses for a dollar. I've been wanting to um, do like my own baked beans in the pressure cooker and stuff. Um, but I haven't because all of the ingredients to make it seem to be super duper expensive right now. Uh, but maybe if I can find molasses for a dollar, I'll try making my own. There's a whole bunch of A1 here. Hmm. I'm only gonna buy one. If I was, if it was like something that we use a lot, I would probably stock up. But we don't use A1 that much, so I'll just buy one. I'm totally bummed. That Armour Chili is not at my Dollar Tree. Looks like the next time I travel, I'm gonna have to stop because that chili was really good and I wish I would have bought more than two cans, but I only bought two cans and they're already gone because it was good. Hopefully there's still some at that other Dollar Tree if I can make it back there. Because my Dollar Tree does not have them. What a bummer. Ice and chunk chicken for a dollar a can. That's not bad. And it's nowhere near expiration. Moon pies. So I had the, I had to uh, pick these up for my oldest kid's lunches. He didn't like them.
Well, I'm basically all done with the, um, what's it called? These can be really super convenient for kids' lunches as well. They used to have the chocolate ones, not, not Nutella, but like Jif peanut butter and chocolate, peanut butter cocoa. Um, I did buy some of those for my son. Um, but I mean, you get three cups, three cups for a dollar. It's really convenient if you don't want to have to like pack peanut butter in, in little things for your 33 cents a cup, not bad. Anyway, as I started to say, I'm going to go over to the freezer and fridge section now because I'm all done with the middle aisles. A lot of the shelves are clear. I'm wondering if there's just not a shipment that's come in for a while. I'm not really seeing anything new. The shelves are bare. I'm a little sad. It happens. Check out the cold stuff. That's as big as it is. It's really small. You have to be really careful with meat and dairy here. Not because it's bad for you, but because the ounces don't make the price worth it. Like here. Okay, so this is lunch meat for a dollar. This is four ounces. See how thin that is? That's like one or two sandwiches. Not worth it. Like these they have at Walmart. I think they might even be cheaper. Some sliced turkey. See how thin that is? Look how thin. For a dollar, just go to Walmart. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news for Mr. Larry the Cable Guy. Every Larry the Cable Guy product that I've tried has been disgusting. Like, um, the freezer meals, I tried once, they were nasty. Tried um, like a bacon macaroni and cheese mix. Oh, well. Save yourself. I am, however, intrigued with uh, pork sausage. 10 ounces of pork sausage for a dollar. I'm intrigued enough to try it because we like a lot of, we like to make, uh, we like to make sausage gravy and biscuits and sausage can get really expensive. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that and see how it tastes. This is a really good deal. Hash brown patties, you get six for a dollar. They're nice and convenient, I like them. Frozen fruit is one of those things that can get crazy expensive. So make sure to check the ounces. Um, I mean, this is 12 ounces of strawberries. I'm not sure how much the bags are at the regular grocery store. So honestly, I don't know if this is a good deal or not, but if you're only wanting to spend a dollar on some frozen fruit, I mean, 12 ounces is a pretty good size for only a buck in my opinion. So they've got mixed the mixed, yep, they're all 12 ounces. They've got sun ripened mixed berries, peaches, and strawberries. Not bad, Dollar Tree. I guess if you need like a fast meal, that's a, that's a massive burrito for a dollar. I've never tried them though. I've tried frozen burritos from like everywhere, and I like frozen burritos. I've never tried those in particular, but I would. I would try them, why not? Only a buck. I do have to plug these though. Uh, my kids like them. This Luigi's Real Italian Ice. Get four of these cups for a dollar. And they're a nice little treat. Don't eat the ice cream. These are yummy. Part is sad. I didn't get a lot. I didn't get a whole lot today. What's the deal? What's the deal with my Dollar Tree? I feel like I'm gonna have to drive even further to get like a decent grocery trip, the Dollar Tree. Oh. 
well, it's another fun video I can make, I guess. At least I didn't come into town just to do this. I had other things to do. If I would have come into town just to go here, I would have been very disappointed. Ooh, I completely overlooked the golden spicy mustard. I'm just doing one last look through for groceries. I'm gonna go check out. I consider myself done. Done. Avoiding the candy like the plague. I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. So I'm all done. I feel like I should have the comedy track that goes wah, wah, wah. You know. Not every trip can be like a riled up success. I can't dance in the aisles every time. But you know, I guess that just goes to show that uh, not every Dollar Tree is the same. <laughs> because I got so excited to do a Dollar Tree video, the last Dollar Tree I went in, which was like a long way from home. Um, and it made me realize that my Dollar Tree kind of sucks. So what I might have to start doing is I might have to start coordinating my Dollar Tree gro grocery trips when I travel out of town for thrifting inventory. So that's what I might have to start doing. I might have to just start doing all my grocery shopping at Dollar Tree when I'm out of town and I'm at the better ones because this one, it's just not doing it for me anymore. It's not. Not. I might have to just start bringing like cold bags or a cooler or something if I get anything cold so that I can travel like an hour back home. But you know, I'm not gonna call it a total fail because they got my puffs back in. There wasn't a lot of bags, but my uh, cheddar and sour cream veggie puffs were back in stock so I was able to get more of those. Um, I've never seen the pork sausage here before. So I'm excited to try the pork sausage because sausage can get really expensive. So I'm, I'm eager to see, and now keep in mind that little roll I got, it was not a pound of sausage, it was only 10 ounces. But I'm pretty certain that every place I've ever bought pork sausage at, it's cheaper per ounce here than it would be there. So that's why I'm trying it because even 10 ounces for a dollar is cheaper than I can buy at the grocery store. I, I know that. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it tastes. Um, I don't know if it's something new that they've started carrying at this Dollar Tree. I've never seen it before. Uh, but granted, I've never really looked for it. So it was like in the bottom. So maybe that's why I didn't see it. But, um, you know, and then I saw some cool breads. But hopefully, if you've been curious about grocery shopping at Dollar Tree, hopefully I gave you some ideas. Um, I'll let you know how things work out after I try them, as long as I remember. If you see me buying pork sausage again, you'll know it turned out pretty well. So I am going to continue running my errands and I hope you guys had fun. Hope you have fun coming in with me to Dollar Tree. It was really awesome. There was people in there, but nobody seemed to care that I had the camera up. <laughs> I just like have the camera I'm just like waving it around and everybody's just like oh, okay whatever but anyways I'm gonna go finish running my errands I hope you guys enjoyed being in Dollar Tree uh, go get some groceries at Dollar Tree you can get some really awesome deals I'm telling you guys uh, subscribe for more content give me a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, I'll see you guys next time bye